Passover begins tonight and it lasts for eight days. If you're Jewish, you know this. The Hillel JUC has events planned at both Pitt and CMU throughout the eight day celebration. It's traditionally a happy time, but it's expected to be a little bit more subdued this year because of the ongoing is Israel Hamas war. And if you're not Jewish, do you know what happens at a Seder dinner? Well, it's time for a history lesson and Boaz is the perfect person to give it to us. So hi Boaz. Hey. Well, as you mentioned, yes, tonight, Jews around the world will gather with family and friends for the Passover Seder, the festive meal that starts at all. But what is the deal with Passover and why are boxes of matzah like this suddenly appearing on the end caps of your local grocery store? Well, Passover commemorates the Israelites' exodus from Egypt. It's just like the classic 1956 film, The Ten Commandments. So remember, you've got Charleston Heston, there are ten plagues, there's the parting of the Red Sea, and of course, Yul Brenner giving a particularly nuanced performance as the Pharaoh Ramses. So the Israelites were in a rush to leave Egypt. So while they wanted to pack some snacks for the 40 year journey ahead, they didn't have a lot of time. So instead of letting their bread rise, they baked it immediately and ended up with this sort of unleavened cracker like object. And that's where matzah comes from. So for eight days of Passover, many Jewish people will eat matzah and refrain from eating any leavened foods like those buns you were chomping on earlier. So this Exodus story is part of what we recount at tonight's Passover Seder. The Seder includes readings from the Bible, from 2000 year old rabbinical commentary, and there are also lots of songs, many of which are like hundreds of years old. So throughout the night, we eat symbolic foods that refer to the season and the Exodus story, like on the Seder plate over here. And there's also a lot of wine. There are four cups to be exact. So you can have grape juice instead if you're doing a dry April. And then there's the actual meal with traditional foods like matzo ball soup, potato kugel, and one of Heather's favorites, of course, gefilte fish. Oh. So many, <laughs> many seders last late into the night because people are adding their own commentary or their own personal reflections. I've been to some seders that go till past 2 a.m. But don't worry, the segment is not going to go that long. In fact, I'm wrapping up right now. Do you have any idea, Heather, David, what the last part of the Seder is? Any clue? Any you guesses? Know, I, it sounds like bed after what you're saying. <laughs> well, yeah, two in the morning. I, I, is there an egg at some point? Is that the final part of it? There's an egg on the Seder plate. That's a good guess. But actually, the end is an allegorical song about a goat in Aramaic. But that was probably going to be your second guess, right? <laughs> yeah, that was my second guess. So, yeah. so the Seder dinner happens tonight. And then at what happens for the rest of the eight days, the, the celebrations through those days? So a lot of people do two Seders, one tonight and one tomorrow night. And then the rest of the time, you keep eating the matzah. You, uh, you know, refrain from leavened items. There's some additional, some additional prayers to do. And then there's a lot of, you know, Passover foods to snack on. I asked you today, Boaz, too, is it appropriate to say happy uh, Passover? Uh, yeah. And yes, you it said is. yes, but there's a more uh, official way to say it. Yeah, it's in the teleprompter now, so it'll help you say it. We can say it all together. Uh, 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 kasher v'sameach. Say it one more time, because I stopped it. Kasher v'sameach. Okay. <laughs> we'll practice that. That means have a kosher and happy holiday. We love that. That's Thank fantastic. you, Boaz. For Only Boaz would put Yul Brenner in his like <laughs> Passover uh, <laughs> lesson. That was fantastic. Well, I feel like we're all updated now. We all know. Yeah. Thank you, Boaz. Up next.